Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Uplink, where we cover all Star Citizen news from the previous week. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content, so please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. A big shout out to all my Patreon and channel members. And without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Last week, we had a roadmap roundup, and here's a few things that they mentioned. Uh, they're looking to do a full overhaul on the Arena Commander Classic Race Mode. So they're looking to refactoring the checkpoint entities, the race manager system, improvements to scoring as well. Uh, a complete rework of all the new Horizon maps and an addition of the Snake Pit. This is, so this is awesome for players that enjoy racing in Star Citizen. So they also mentioned the Volt Pulse, which is a new energy pistol that's currently in development. This is going to be the first weapon from this specific manufacturer. All right. So they also mentioned AI vehicle perception so the ai will be able to perceive and detect vehicles on ground as well as select ground based targets such as turrets right and they will be using both vision and radar to do this so they also mentioned aerodynamic control surfaces so what this essentially is is the ai will be able to take advantage of ships that do better in atmosphere and actually use them to the full capability so which is awesome they also mentioned a disclaimer that the Arena Commander race mode is actually meant for 319 and not 318. Previously, they had it down for 318, so that was a mistake. So the Inside Star Citizen episode is called Doing Time. So now the first part of this is regarding SPK. So now Security Post Korea is going online, right? So now the hacking terminals on all the underground bases will be removed and SPK will be the only place to actually go to hack your crime stack, okay? So now Crusader Security is now moving into SVK. The station is now defended with more turrets on the exterior. So this makes it a lot harder to actually land. In addition to this, guards will actually be on the landing pads to also defend as well as the interior of the station. In order to use a terminal, you need to eliminate the security on the inside of the station. If you eliminate enough of them, the security chief will actually be spawned in. If you're able to eliminate the security chief, you'll be able to retrieve security codes from him, which will allow you to initiate a contraband dispenser. So now the contraband dispenser actually dispenses high value contraband. So this is actually very lucrative, but it won't always dispense contraband. So that's a risk that you have to take if you choose to do it. So when enough of the defending NPCs are killed, a broadcast will be sent to all lawful players on the server to come and eliminate the threat at SPK. What makes this interesting is the fact that this is the first player triggered event in the game. The second part of Inside Star Citizen is regarding prison gameplay. So CIG will be working on more ways to complete your prison sentence aside from waiting. So they will be adding NPC prisoners inside of the caves. Killing these NPCs can be rewarding as you can retrieve items from them that may be useful in prison. So they're looking into adding a mechanic that will require you to bring back contraband in order to receive rewards. Adding rewards to taking out violent players is also a thing as well. An interesting thing they mentioned in the end is the fact that there will be a black spot within the prison. So this is where you can actually be contacted from the outside to actually do missions for very lucrative rewards. And last but not least, the Star Citizen Live episode is regarding all vehicles Q&A. So they did mention that they're working on the resource management and we will see it very soon. So they also mentioned that they will re-add landing assist UI sometime in the future. Squadron is already using drones and eventually will be added to the roadmap. The reason why big captures have not yet been added is optimization, their size, other systems, and the servers are just not ready for them. They also mentioned that it does not make sense to add large ships if the gameplay loops are not there yet. They want to add more interior customization for ships, but this will be further out in the future. Most top mounted docking ports will be moved to the side to prevent falling due to gravity. The Ranger is blocked by what they call the Tech 2 wheels internally um, and it has been reprioritized. The 600i rework is looking great and hopefully we might see it by the end of the year. The Apollo is not being worked on due to the fact that devs are working on the Corsair and the Crucible is going to undergo a complete rework. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click this one. I'll see you on the next video.